In this movie, I'll show you a handful of tricks for previewing and assigning fonts. And this has become a much better experience inside the most recent version of Illustrator, both for Mac and PC people for different reasons. Now we'll be working with a couple of fonts that ship along with most versions of the Creative Suite. Not all of them, but the fonts we'll be using are Adobe Caslon Pro and Trajan Pro. Now, if you don't have access to those fonts in your system, then go ahead and try out some different fonts, see what kind of results you get. I'm gonna click on my point text with the black arrow tool to select it once again. And then notice up here in the control panel, you can select a font from this font list just by clicking on the down pointing arrowhead. And that'll list all the fonts that are installed on your system. Your fonts and my fonts will definitely vary. Problem is when you work this way, you can't see previews of the fonts. So you don't know what they look like. You just see this list. If you wanna see the previews, go ahead and press the escape key and click on that word character there in the control panel to bring up the character panel and then click the down pointing arrowhead and now you'll see previews. And this is remarkable for those of us working on a PC because we haven't had these previews at this convenient location before. You had to go to the type menu, which was a pain in the neck, but now it's much better. You Macintosh people already had these previews, but still, let's say you wanna make them larger so that you have a better idea of what each one of these fonts looks like. Then go ahead and escape out and press Control K or Command K on a Mac in order to bring up the preferences dialog box and then click on type three items down over here in the left-hand list. Notice this font preview checkbox is turned on by default, which is a great thing. If you wanna make it larger, you switch the size from medium to large. That means you'll see fewer fonts on screen at a time, but you'll have a better sense of what they look like. Illustrator also keeps track of the most recently used fonts, which is great if you flip back and forth between a group of fonts on a regular basis. If you wanna track more recent fonts than five, then you can switch it up to as many as 15. I'm gonna switch it to 10. All right, now I'll click OK in order to accept those changes. And now notice if I click on the word character and then click the down pointing arrowhead next to the font name, I see bigger font previews. And I could say, gosh, you know, Black Oak Standard looks great. That'll make my text even wider than it was before. So all of it goes off to the second artboard. Let's say you wanna type in a specific font name. Well, you can just click on that font name like so to select it. And then you type in some other font, like I'll type in the first few letters of the word Garamond and then press the enter key or the return key on the Mac in order to reformat my text. But you can also highlight the font name using a special keyboard shortcut. And that shortcut is mash your fist F. That is control shift alt F on a PC or command shift option F on the Mac. And that's gonna go ahead and bring up the freestanding character panel, which I have docked in this column of panel icons. And it also highlights the font name, as you can see. And then you could type in a different font. Like I know I want Trajan, so I'll just type in T-R-A-J and that got me Trajan. And then I could press the tab key in order to apply the Trajan font and highlight the style option, which we'll come to in a moment. And by the way, you also get font previews with this option right here. So if you click on the down pointing arrowhead, you will see previews of all the fonts as well. All right, I'm gonna press the escape key to hide that menu. Here's another way to work. Press Control shift alt f or Command shift option f on the Mac to go ahead and highlight that font value. And you can press the up arrow key in order to go back through the various fonts installed on your system. Or you can press the down arrow key to move forward. And when I say back and forward, I mean in alphabetical order. And this is a major thing. You've been able to do this on a PC for a while, but this is the first version of the program in which you can do it on the Mac as well. And it may seem like, why did it take Adobe 25 years in order to make this possible on the Mac. The truth is they couldn't do it before the way the program was written, but they had to rewrite the program in order to take advantage of some OS and platform enhancements. The program as a result runs way faster than it used to in the past, and you can now arrow your way through the fonts. All right, but as I say, I want Trajan, so I'll just type in T-R-A-J and then press the tab key. Now, notice one of the things that's missing from this character panel, and you can make it bigger, by the way, if you want access to more options, you click on that little up down arrowhead icon to the left of the word character, and that shows you more options. Notice though, among these options, there are no like bold and italic icons the way you see in other software. And that's because every font's different. Some fonts have bold and italic styles and others don't. In the case of Trajan, for example, all we have is regular and bold. Those are your only designer styles. So that's all you get. Other fonts, if I were to go ahead and press Control Shift Alt F or Command Shift Option F on a Mac to highlight that font name again, and I were to type in Adobe CAS for Adobe CASLON and then press the tab key, 
to advance to the styles and click on this list and I'll see just a ton of styles that are available to me. So regular italic, semi-bold, semi-bold italic, bold and bold italic as well. And you can arrow through those as well. So if you highlight that style option and press the down arrow key, then you'll go ahead and advance through the styles. You can press the up arrow key if you like as well. All right, so I'm gonna press shift tab to go back to my font field and I'll just type in TR. Actually, that's enough to get Trajan Pro for me. And then I'll press tab and instead of semi-bold, which doesn't actually exist, Let's go ahead and press the up arrow key to go back to regular and then the down arrow key to go to bold, which is the font style that I'm interested in applying. And then I'll press the enter key on the PC or the return key on the Mac in order to apply that style. To get rid of the character panel, get it off screen, obviously you can just click on that double arrow icon, but you can also take advantage of the keyboard shortcut for the character panel, which is control T as in type or command T on the Mac. And those friends are your various options for previewing and applying fonts and font styles here inside Illustrator.